Whether he wants to own it or not, Senator Cory Booker is fast becoming the face of what Democrats are calling the diverse resistance movement. In the wake of this weekend's Women's March on Washington, Booker gathered with supporters, advocates and organizers to harness momentum and plot strategy. You all should think about what do you want from me to be able to communicate with more detail. Hey, here are 10 things that have happened in, in Donald Trump's first two weeks that you should be aware of and then open it up for a conversation. We're sort of on the forefront, but there are a lot of people who just want one thing they can do every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to give them, like, I call it my 1,461 days of action because right. I will have an action every day. I love that. And it might not change the world, but I will get up every day and I know what I need to do. The women at today's meeting are counting on Booker to help them chart a course in an environment where the left has been rocked onto its heels by first the president's victory itself and then secondly by his threats to undo much of the Obama administration's policies by executive order as he did in his first three days on the Affordable Care Act and on women's reproductive rights. I think the administration has shown throughout the campaign certainly that reproductive health care is going to be under attack. So they certainly, um, with that first executive order, have followed through on some of those promises. So we hope that you know, they'll, they'll see the response in the, in the Women's March and the continued response on the ground because, as Dina said, you know, it can't be the end. This is just the beginning, right? This is the beginning of the movement. But Booker was somber in his assessment of the effect the Trump administration could have. Here's a person that bullied and demeaned their way to their, their, their office. And, and what have you seen? It's, it is absolutely connected. You've seen this rise in hate crimes in our country, uh, that you've seen people feeling almost entitled now. Uh, to speak down to their fellow Americans. And that is a reality, unfortunately, that's very sobering for me. Is he a legitimate president in your mind? Um, he's got to earn the respect of the American people, uh, and that question is still open. Um, um, in the first two days of his presidency, I don't think he did a very good job with that. The weekend's marches drew larger numbers than expected around the country, but it remains to be seen whether this moment will actually become a movement and whether this president will even acknowledge that it exists. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.